networks. And it can actually be uh, very difficult to for people to understand how solar works and how to size their systems correctly for their needs. This includes uh, solar panel size, battery size, and inverter size. The reason this is so difficult is because solar and electricity just isn't something that people can see. Um, and you can't really visualize that very easy. It's much easier to understand how water works because it's easy to see and visualize. Because of this, I'm going to relate solar to water. Once you understand this relationship, you'll be able to understand how solar energy works and why you need all the different components involved. Let's say you have a house on some property with a spring flowing water and you want to tap into that water to supply the needs of your home. Let's say you want to take a shower once a day. For this shower you will use 50 gallons in 10 minutes. So you tap into your spring and find that you are getting a flow rate of 10 gallons per hour on an average of 10 hours per day. So we ask the question, will this spring produce enough water for your shower every day? To figure how much water our spring will produce, we sim simply take the flow rate of 10 gallons per hour and multiply the hours it produces water in the day, 10 hours. This gives us 100 gallons of water a day. Since we only need 50 gallons for our shower, we know that we will have enough water. So yes, our spring will produce enough water. However, we want to use 50 gallons in 10 minutes, and the spring is only producing 10 gallons in one hour. So although the spring will produce enough water for us in a 24-hour period, it doesn't flow enough water for our daily shower needs. Also, we have the problem that the spring only produces water for 10 hours a day. What if we want to take a shower when the spring is not flowing? The solution to this problem is simply to put in a water storage tank. By doing this, the spring will slowly fill up the tank when we're not using water and store it for when we need it. So how large of a tank do we need? Since we only need 50 gallons to take a shower, you would think that we would be fine with a 50 gallon tank. However, I mentioned that the spring only runs on average 10 hours per day. Some days, some days the spring flows for only an hour or two, while others it'll flow more. To be safe, it's best to have three days worth of water stored. So that would be 150 gallons. Now the next thing we need to calculate is the size of the pipe we will be running from our tank to our home. This regulates how much water you get in, into your home and how fast. If we run too small of a pipe, such as a quarter inch pipe, we won't have enough water flow to take a shower, even though we have a large enough tank and enough water stored. It won't hurt to have a pipe that is oversized, especially if we want to be using water for more than just a shower. It's easier to oversize your pipe now when installing than to rip, rip the pipe out later for a bigger one. Okay, now you're probably thinking, this is a nice story, but how does this relate to solar? Well, to start out with, the spring is like the sun. The pipe that taps into the spring is like the solar panel. And the water storage uh, tank, that is like your battery that stores the, pan the power that uh, your solar panels have harvested from the sun. And then finally we have the, uh, the pipe going from the tank to your house. That is like the inverter um, that uh, converts the power from your battery into usable power for your house. And these relate very well to just how the spring works. If you need uh, more power from uh, for your house, so later on you decide you need more power than what you originally calculated for, um, you can add more solar panels, uh, you can add more batteries. A lot of times it's very difficult and expensive to uh, upgrade the inverter, so that usually is 
uh, size oversized to whatever you're going to eventually need. Otherwise, you'll have to essentially throw your old inverter away and get a brand new one, and that can be more costly. So anyway, this relates very well to um, uh, how a solar system will work. And uh, by using this, a lot of people can understand how solar works a lot better than trying to visualize uh, the electricity because it's a lot harder to do so. Um, also, I have a calculator on my website. This can help you uh, size your systems and calculate exactly how big a solar panels you'll need, batteries, inverter, and all that type of stuff that you can use to, to calculate those values for you.